Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Leadnap Gaming. Today we're going to talk about the new release from Tumbrel, Forbes, and I'm giving away a ship, so stay tuned. Before I get started, I just want to say I know that there's been a little bit of a video drought here. That's because we were selling our house and moved, and we're moved, so hooray! Uh, for those of you that watch for DCS content, I know we've not had any DCS stuff in a while. That's because the HOTAS was all packed up. We're moved, it's unpacked, so some DCS content is coming soon, so stay ex tuned and stay excited for that. Let's jump into the Forbes article first really quickly here. I did set out to get a video done on it alone, and it kept running to 30 minutes. All right, it's been hammered to death, and I just want to say a few things about it. I've got a link to the article down below. Is CIG the best run company? No. And anyone with work experience knows that all companies have their issues with management. Do I think CIG could benefit from someone other than Chris Roberts with big project development experience stepping in and driving this to completion? Absolutely. In fact, I've got a video in the pipeline dedicated to that. Do I think that going with Squadron 42 at the same time was smart out the gate? No, because you got to pay big dollars to big name voice actors. Mark Hamill ain't cheap. All right. However, the piece was definitely slam journalism because anytime you have to say that a company is garbage to make your point based on the marital history of the founder, you're grasping at straws. Anyone who waited for Diablo 3 knows that sometimes games take forever. Today, we can play Star Citizen. Is it buggy? Yes. Is everything in it? No. Can you still grab a bunch of friends and jump in and have a good time though? Certainly. In seven years, cig has gone from 20 employees to over 500. That takes money. Okay, this project is very ambitious, but that's why we're all so excited about it. There's plenty that could be different, plenty that could be better, and it's always easy to criticize when you're not doing it yourself. I too get frustrated about bugs and ships that I funded that aren't even in the game yet, which is a great segue into the next part of this. We were told Tumbro was working on something, and here it is. We've got three new bikes. Now these things are pretty cool. We have a racer, a combat bike, you know, all a dark night, and a cargo bike. There is also three vests that correspond with the bike, so you can look the part. Overnight, half the orgs in the verse just became biker gangs, and you know it. I'm not going to lie, they got me in concierge pre-sale. That, however, is really where I see the meat and potatoes of this. First off, the development time on these is probably going to be pretty short. There's no interior to model, there's no flight characteristics to figure out. A lot of this has already kind of been developed for the pre-sale. So I imagine we can see these things pretty quickly into the verse, which is exciting by itself. Now more importantly, we're seeing small ground vehicles enter the game, a lot more of them lately, which means that more ships can carry ground vehicles than the larger ships, and that also really means that the planetary experience is getting fleshed out. We know from previous discussion and news that procedural bunkers and cave complexes are in development, and that they're almost done. That means that planets are soon going to have more places to explore, more places to find and shoot NPCs, and who knows, maybe even find some sort of loot. They've not said anything about that last one, but I think it'd be pretty cool to be able to pull free guns and gear off dead bodies. Now we have more tools to get around planets and explore them, which is exciting because this is an element of Star Citizen that's relatively unique. We can land on any solid planet and go anywhere. That could very well be the end of that, but these st new bikes still have another fantastic quality, and that's their cost. Aside from a glorified golf cart, you can't scout terrain for less than $50. But now you can, because less, these cost less than a starter package. Best of all right now, you can snap these up with LTI, making them fantastic LTI tokens as well. They're going to be pretty affordable in game, so you don't have to worry about upgrading your LTI bike, because you could just go buy one with UEC down the road. In fact, $85 for three LTI tokens is a steal especially if you have a list of cheaper ships that you want to upgrade to LTI, but you don't want to pay concierge package prices to get them. I can't wait to jump into one of these and cruise around the planet, and I'm looking forward to doing it with some of you guys too. Now for the part you're all probably waiting for, I am going to give away a ship. If you didn't see it, I did a review on the rework of the 300i, so this month I'm going to give away a new 300i. Entry is really easy. For the rest of May, all you need to do is be subscribed, and comment on any of my videos. At the end of the month, I'm going to pick a winner at random. If you don't have a Star Citizen, excuse me. If you don't have a Star Citizen account, that's fine because you can still win, and I'll set it up as a starter package. I'm going to announce the winner and contact you at the end of the month for the transfer, so you don't need to write all your info out in the comments. I think the 300 is 
a great all-around starter ship, especially after resets. So this is going to be an awesome opportunity to snap one up for free. Make sure to tell all your friends. That's it for today, but I hope to see you all in the verse and one of you in your shiny new 300. Have a great day, and I will catch you all next time.